Happy New Year from Japan. You're watching NHK Newsline. I'm Aichida in Tokyo. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has given a New Year address aimed both at his country and the world. He warned the United States of the North's nuclear deterrence. As Japan's membership on the UN Security Council expires, the Japanese ambassador to the UN says his country's commitment to the organization remains strong. He pledged to continue working with the group to pressure North Korea to give up its nuclear and missile programs. In his New Year's message to the nation, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is pledging to press forward with reforms this year as he looks ahead to 2020 and beyond. Chinese President Xi Jinping has welcomed the new year with a vow to expand his country's global influence and a promise to honor international rules. People in Japan have rung in the new year with celebrations across the country. NHK has learned that Japan's emperor and empress may revisit places of symbolic significance before the emperor abdicates in April 2019. These include those related to World War II and the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Flower garlands known as Puan Malai are everywhere in Thailand. People offer them at temples and shrines or use them as good luck charms. Today, NHK World's Chikako Tanaka introduces a rising star in this traditional Thai craft. Iran's president has commented on ongoing anti-government protests, saying people have the right to criticize authorities. But the government has been cautious, blocking social media platforms, protests... 36 people were killed in a collision between a bus and a truck in Kenya. Local media say that number includes the drivers of both vehicles and passengers. About 10 others were reported. Competition is intensifying over the development of a new type of battery for electric vehicles. It would enable electric cars to cover more than twice the distance they currently can using conventional batteries. Japan's plastic food makers are masters at crafting deceptively tasty-looking dishes, which look good enough to eat. Now they're harnessing their skills to new ends, from fashion accessories to medical treatments. NHK World's Sakura Koyama has more. One of Japan's foremost ballet dancers, Tetsuya Kumakawa, has taken on a fresh challenge to create a new ballet based around the dramatic life and legendary beauty of Queen Cleopatra. NHK World's Yuji Osawa has more. And that wraps up this hour of NHK Newsline. From all of us in the newsroom, thanks for watching.